I'm Margaret Brennan in Washington. And this week on Face the Nation, December kicks off with some bright spots when it comes to the economy. How will they impact that cloudy financial forecast for next year? The race to get as much done before the holidays as possible is on here in the nation's capital. International diplomacy has stepped up on a number of fronts. But will Vladimir Putin bend to new overtures to end Russia's war in Ukraine and return U.S. prisoners? With continuing protests in Iran and new challenges when it comes to China, we'll talk to the Biden administration's top diplomat, Secretary of State Antony Blinken. Then, last week saw positive economic news on the jobs front, a surge in holiday shopping and a drop in gas prices. The Americans are working, the economy is growing, wages are rising faster than inflation. But there have been some big layoffs in media and the tech sector, and the Fed is likely to raise interest rates again later this month. We'll talk with Bank of America's CEO, Brian Moynihan. And as new House leaders prepare for the next Congress, we'll talk to Mike Turner, the presumptive Republican Intelligence Committee chair, and the new number three Democrat, California Congressman Pete Aguilar. Finally, that last Senate seat will be decided in a Tuesday runoff in Georgia. We'll tell you what's at stake, and we'll check in with the Obama administration's Attorney General, Eric Holder. It's all just ahead on Face the Nation.